Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing a video what? today I'm going to be doing a video for you guys called products that I can't well things that I can't live without it's kind of like a favorites video but it's like a like favorites video like of all time all time favorites video you know um, so this is basically just gonna be about things that I personally can't live without things that I need to have with me at all times things that I love things that I can't live without. Let's say they were gonna discontinue it and I needed a lifetime supply or something, this would be the thing that I would say, I need that in my life. Cause if I didn't have it, I would die. Oh my God. The Foreo Luna Mini. And this is the Foreo Luna Mini 2 actually. This is the uh, more updated version of the Foreo Luna Mini. Um, if you guys don't know about the Foreo Luna, it is a skincare product where you can wash your face. It is a silicone, product so it does not hold or harbor bacteria like brush heads for like spin brushes and things like that. I talked about this product in a favorites video I want to say way back in July. I was using the original one for a year and uh, I just got this one about two months ago so I've just I've been loving this and the bristles on this one compared to this one are a lot longer and this one has eight speeds whereas this one I think only has two speeds. I don't remember ever changing the speed on this but you can definitely change the speed the vibration like how powerful it is even though you can change the speed it's still a very 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 mild product the bristles on this are so soft it's like a pillow on your face and it doesn't disturb acne or any breakouts that you may have unlike a Clarisonic or a spin brush where if you use that product it will over exfoliate and cause even more breakouts because it's going to be purging your skin this did not have a purging process process I love the packaging I love how small and compact it is you can easily travel with this so I take this everywhere I go I stopped using it for like two or three months and I don't know why I stopped using it but then when I went back to using it Oh my goodness my skin was like girl what have you been doing and I was like I don't know but I'm gonna use it every day now so it does have these little turtle on the side which is cute but this is um, for Foreo's Save the Sea campaign so if you buy this particular packaging you will help to conserve the ocean all proceeds go to that so I thought that was cute they have a lot of different new colors for the Foreo Luna Mini 2 so you can check it out they have it at Sephora uh, and on Foreo.com I'll put a link in the description box where you can find it but this is one of my favorite products of all time I cannot live without this product I thought I could but is the Dr. Bronner soap. You can wash your face with it, you can wash your body with it, you can wash your hair with it, you can wash your clothes with it, you can wash fruit, vegetables with it, you to wash the dishes, you can use, I use it to clean my makeup brushes. There's so many things that you can use this for because it's organic, it's all natural, it doesn't have any harsh chemicals or anything like that, so you can use it on literally anything. I've been using this soap for, I wanna say, four or five years now. And I just, I love it so much because there's so many things you can use it for. This huge bottle I believe is $15, but I know that you can get um, smaller sizes um, if you'd like to travel with it. And there is a bar version of it. And I do use the bar soap. I use that for my, for cleaning my beauty blenders. Um, it does need to be diluted. So just in case you guys wanted to use this product, please make sure you're diluting it because it is strong because it's nothing but organic oils and stuff. Can't live without this. If you have not got your hands on this, you need to. So the one makeup product that I can't live without is, of course, the Beauty Blender. This is the Beauty Blender Pro, it's the black one. I also have this very, very dirty pink one that I've been using for the past couple days. And then I have this nude one. I have the little tiny micro color correcting one. There's so many different, there's so many different uses for these things. It's the perfect multitasking tool for your makeup. If you don't own a real Beauty Blender, not a knockoff, not a dupe. I know that they are not cheap, they're not inexpensive, they're $20 each, but I feel like it's very worth it because I've never found another one that is just like this. I've tried the Real Techniques ones, I've tried um, the CVS ones, I've tried many different dupes and I have never found a sponge that is just like the Beauty Blender. There are similar ones that work okay, but they don't feel as good as this. This one is very soft, it's very spongy. You know, this one is not as spongy. Like, it's soft, 
but it's not boingy. Is that a word? But I just think this one is so much better. I just, I just love it. Everybody needs a real beauty blender, a real one. It's my favorite beauty tool of all time. I love it. If I don't have anything else, I need a beauty blender. Clothing item that I need that I can't live without is actually something interesting and I'm gonna show you guys and this is gonna be so embarrassing, but I'm gonna talk about it anyways because I need to address this. I'm wearing them right now, so I have to take them out. These in particular are called boobles and I will put the link in the description box where I got, I got them from Amazon. They're my little breast implants, okay? Put these in my bras, I put these in my swimsuits, I put these in anything where I can enhance the cup size. This is how flat I am with no, no booby help, okay? Now this is a padded bra, I'm wearing a padded bra right now. I wear a 32 AA or a 30A. So I do need a little help up there, all right? I'm not well endowed like most women are. I've been flat chested my whole life and I, I can't really complain anymore because this is how the good Lord wanted me to be. And if he wanted me to have big boobies, I would have big boobies, but I don't. So I guess this is just gonna be it. But I don't mind a little extra push. It takes me up a whole cup size. Now I'm a little bit more full. So hopefully you guys can see that. I'll put a side by side so you guys can see, but as you can see, I'm a little more full up there. I got a little more cleavage. They just help to really fill out my shirts and tops and things like that. I not only like these because they help with, you know, pushing me up and giving me a little extra oomph. If you guys have that problem where your underwire kind of like cuts like right here where your chest is, I have a very bony chest. It kind of hurts when I have my bra on too long. So this kind of helps to push my bra away from my body a little bit and give me a little more give so that way it doesn't hurt me and I don't have those marks right there um, where my underwire is stabbing me all day. But I absolutely love my boobles. I can't live without them. I wear them every day. It's a little tip for you guys if you have little boobies, padded bra, boobles, and then like put like a training bra on top. <laughs> put a training bra on top and then like wear like a tank top, low cut tank top. Girl, your boobies gonna be popping, okay, oh my God. Booby tips. During the summertime, I cannot live without my slides. Now I have a whole slide collection. I have five or six pair of slides, but I'll show you guys my favorites right now. These are the Banassi by Nike, and they're just the regular Nike swoosh. I don't really wear my navy. I have navy Adidas slides, but these are the Mi Adilet slides. And you guys ask about these so much when I put these in my shoe collection video, which if you haven't seen my shoe collection videos, I love those. Vicky Logan on there. You can customize these and put whatever you want on there and change the colors. So I love those. They do run big though, so get a size down. Rihanna Puma slides. Blood, sweat, and tears for these, okay? Cause they sold out super quick and I had to find them. But if you guys were not able to get your hands on these, Public Desire does have a kind of like a knockoff pair. Put those in the description box if you guys wanna check that out. These are the Vanassi Ultra and they have two straps. And I love these, they're so comfy. These are the most comfy slides I own. There's a lot of cushion in the straps and it has really, really good arch support in these. But I love my slides. I can't live without my slides. I wear my slides all the time, okay? A hair products that I can't live without. I have two, so one for my curly hair and one for my straight hair. So for curly hair, I would suggest the uh, Paul Mitchell, the conditioner. And this is my favorite conditioner of all time. I've been using Paul Mitchell leave-in conditioner, I wanna say since I was in high school. It's just amazing because it doesn't leave your hair crunchy, it doesn't leave a residue because it's blue, but it's like clear. So it goes on your hair clear. So if you have dark hair, it won't show up white or anything like that. It doesn't leave your hair like, feeling like it has something in it. You know what I mean? It doesn't feel sticky or anything like that. It is just, it makes your hair super soft. I just love this product. Me and my mom swear by this. My mom does not use any other product in her hair other than this, and my mom has hair all the way down her back, okay? So when I do straighten my hair, I'll put this on before I blow dry it. Quick tip, you can use this to shave. Um, I don't shave my legs or anything, but when I used to shave my legs, I would use this on my legs and shave it. it made my legs so smooth. Yeah, I got this from Ulta, by the way. This was a $10 bottle, but they have the bigger bottle for like 15, I think, um, at Target and stuff. So you can find it anywhere. And another product is a holy grail product that everybody needs. You need a good oil. 
a good natural oil. I have almond oil. This is the one I keep in my shower. I use this to shave and I use it to moisturize when I do shave my underarms and stuff. Almond oil, I like jojoba oil, I like castor oil, I like coconut oil, grapeseed oil, I love grapeseed oil. A lot of these oils are multitasking, so I use grapeseed oil to cook as well. I use tea tree oil on my face to get rid of acne and it works amazing for that. Look up essential oils and what they can do for your life. They'll change your life, I promise, I swear, I promise. Definitely didn't think about this while I was filming and I'm so upset with myself, but this is poopery spray. If you guys have never heard me talk about this, I don't know where you've been. You spray it in the toilet or you can even spray it in the air. I use it as air freshener sometimes. It makes your poop smell amazing. I'm not even gonna lie. I was surprised myself. I was appalled at the smell that came from the toilet when I, you know, dropped the Cosby kids off at the pool. I hate public restrooms. I went to the bathroom once and I literally went through every stall and sprayed this. I did everybody a service that day. Should've got an award for it. I'll put a link in the description box to where I got it. I got it from Amazon, but you can find it, I believe at Ulta. I have them in every bathroom, in every purse. Another product I forgot to talk about that I can't live without is Chimes Ginger Chews. I've talked about these before in a favorites video. Love these, I've been eating these forever. Anytime I go home to Texas, my mom gives me bags of these, so I have like 80 bags. I keep them everywhere, I keep them in my purse. Um, most of the time because you're really hungry and you don't want to die um, or if you have problems with nausea or things making you sick I get motion sickness when I'm in the car if you're sick or have allergies these are perfect for you I have a million of them and I can't live without my ginger chews so I think that is all for my video today I have a lot more products that I could talk about but I won't talk about them because I just wanted to talk about the products that I absolutely can't live without and those are the ones that popped up in my head right off the jump. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and let me know if you guys wanna see more all-time favorite kind of videos and I can do like specific categories, like I can do an all-time favorites for makeup. If you guys like to see that, let me know. I don't wanna talk anymore. So I'm gonna to talk to you guys in my next video, okay? Bye.